Hello, everybody. It's Sunday, December 24th, 2023. It's, it's that time of year, so we're doing this in a really funky way, and I don't have my soundboard. So you're just going to have to live with what we have here. Because this is Jingle Mingle time. I'm Jeff. Who's your bear? That's right. I am your bear. I'm Damon. I don't brew the tea. I just serve it. And that makes me Gary. Everyone else is thinking it, and I just say it. I, as I said, I don't have my soundboard. You don't have to pause for for, for anything. Okay, I was thinking we would put it in in post, but never mind. Okay. See, okay. see, see, David and I were on the same page. I was like, some magic little elf's gonna go in and like put the little sound cues in, so it sounds. Well, like hell no! I'm not. I'm, I'm too lazy for that. So no posts. Fine. Maybe. There we go. We'll there we go. So Gary, the jingle yes. mingle is your baby. Well, it's just a fun, you know, occasion to get together. And then, you know, I give myself in in, you know, uh I don't want to I'm not anxious and I'm not stressed. I just um, you know, I'm like well, let's, you know, at least have things to do. So I come up with silly like online game things. Um <laughs> borrowing from past tradition and modifying them uh and so this year we've got something new which is um called good elf versus bad elf oh dear <laughs> oh no well it's really quite simple as a group we uh, we are going to vote and track uh which is the majority of the decision is the behavior that i describe something you would expect of a good elf or a bad elf oh dear <laughs> and you don't get to call anything in between it's 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 one or the other none of this habsies business now what do we mean by bad elf i'm just trying to define the range here <laughs> well that's right. part of the whole thing I, I there's not a long list and we'll see how far that how long it takes us like it, like is it. bad elf Oh, you're you've been the bad elf, or is it? No, that's awful. Um, this yes. one is kind of mild because this one's mild, right? 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 Well, because we also have the holiday, most likely, um, of 2023, which is sort of like last year, which gets a little naughtier, and then we have our 2023 <laughs> volume two version of the naughtiest of all, which, if you remember was people affirming if they have done naughty things um which means they're not going to get presents and if it's severe enough they get a whack on their rear end by krampus or krampus so and a certain somebody took that um in a huge uh win last year <laughs> the one who does, the one who does too much anyways uh <laughs> That's too much. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes. So yeah, of the of the three different things, this one's probably the the mildest of the bunch. Mild. All right. Are you with us, Tony? Just want to ask since I'm... he might have stepped away. He's muted at the moment. Yes, I'm here. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So we're looking at uh behavior number one. So our elf behavior is they bought new lights to avoid untangling the old ones. So instead of taking the previous okay. year's lights and untangling them, they just went out and bought new lights and said to hell with it. Good. <laughs> good. Good. As someone who believes in being lazy, I consider that to be good. <laughs> As someone who knows money, just use it. As someone who knows that money could be spent on something better, like renting a studio for something, that's bad. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you know that's fair. That's fair, especially if the lights are are just totally <laughs> fine. It's just they're tangled. It's. I mean, that's a prop. That's a costume. That's 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 an hour in a studio. Who knows what that is? That's a waste of money. <laughs> yeah, but, but they're the that could be so bad that the effort you take to take it apart will end up damaging it, and then you have to buy a new one anyway. Well, that's why yeah. you get someone who's patient. 
Not me, but someone who is. <laughs> someone else. <laughs> someone totally else fair. who is patient. Right. You see how long that goes, though? Because then you have to go find someone else, ask them nicely to do it for you, hope they do it right, just buy some new lights. Okay, we are going to pause. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm going to switch my my. I, I'm going to agree with Josh here. Oh, so you're going to say bad too? Yeah, I mean, I'm going to say bad because he's right that the money could be used elsewhere. If, if if the if the lights are fine, then why waste money? That could be another month of. Play. I always break them, so get the new ones. <laughs> okay, so that's four good, two, two bad. bad. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna abstain just because I'm the one who put this together. I think that's probably he, he, the, the best. He thing. knows all the he knows all the clues. Well, I know what all the behaviors are. So if there's a tiebreaker, perhaps I will step in. We'll do that. There you go. There you go. In All the right. event of a tie, tie. <laughs> what do you mean tie? Uh, <laughs> tie? What are you talking about? What do you mean tie? All right, elf behavior number two. They avoided holiday drinks with someone they know. So in other words, they got invited to have drinks with someone they know, but they avoided doing it with them. <clears throat> Lloyd's got questions. Yeah. <laughs> Did they tell them I can't make it, or did they just blank and ghost them? Oh, but if you tell people. someone, "Look, I I'm not feeling it. I'm sorry," then there's nothing wrong with that. But if yeah, you that's tell good. them, but if you're like, if you're like, "Yeah, I'll be that mate. I'm there, mate. I'm right there. I'll see you tomorrow, two p.m. I'm right here." Like, nope, in bed. Then it's bad. Mm. I That's felt fair. there's missing information. I felt the key word was avoided. So to tell someone that you can't do it is not avoiding. Yeah. That's, That's making a decision. Mm. That's not skirting it. Yes. Yeah, then that'd be bad. That would be bad. That, that would be bad because that's like ghosting. That's, that's, that's not right. Just tell them you're not going to be there. Don't be an asshole. Well, that could be avoiding it, depending on how you want to look at it. I'm going to avoid it by telling you I can't make it or there's other plans. Mm. See, Drew's getting all tech technical and shit. Um, I may or may have not done that before. <laughs> I'm sorry. I got to go to my mom's house. Something came up because I don't want to go. Then I sit at home and have my own cocktails. That's also fine. As long as the person isn't waiting for you. If no one is still in a bar waiting for you to turn up, then it's absolutely fine. Look, it's better to lie to avoid than it is to just ghost. Yeah, right. And also not leave them on red. That's there you go. Where are you? I've been waiting 20 minutes. Are you here yet? What's going on? <laughs> just get back in bed, you're like, mm, don't care. Mm. It's like the phone's like buzzing, buzz, buzz. And you're like, mm. And you're just cut up Netflix. Yeah. Or even worse. It comes on, but it's from the computer, not the phone. And the, the phone's on, on silent, so you don't hear the buzz. That part. I will say bad. Bad. Good. By by in by intent of what you're saying, I'm going to say bad. I'm going by intent. Okay. Tony? I would say bad. Bad. Okay. Josh? Bad. That's four bads, two goods, I think. If I did my... I thought we had five bads and one good. I think I'm the only good. Yeah, oh. I, was just, I think Lloyd was the only. Oh, me too. <laughs> All right. So with that said, uh, behavior number three, good elf or bad elf, pretends that a gift got lost during shipment or delivery. Keyword there is pretend. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say bad. I'll say good. Question. Yes. Um, are, the question would be, are, are 
Are you the sender or the receiver? Oh, um, I presumed you were the sender. Mm -hmm. I didn't clarify that, I guess. I would, I would still say bad. I would say bad then. I'm going to say good because you might be too embarrassed or can't afford to buy a present and you're too embarrassed to say otherwise. There could be circumstances there involved that you might be trapped in that you can't tell. Right. No one knows. I would agree more. as well. Yeah, because you don't know anyone's situation. Is, they might be like, I'm stuck. I can't afford this, but I don't want to say, I'm sorry, I'm broke. I can't afford a present for you. And be like, I lost in the mail. Right, they got delayed. So yeah, because you know though that their immediate question after was, what, "What's the tracking number?" And be like, "Oh, I didn't send it with the tracking." I'm sorry. If your friend's first answer to "It's lost in the post," I'll get to is, "What's the tracking number? Is it by UPS? Can I get the number? You need to get new friends." Then you, they are the bad elf if they ask that. <laughs> Oh boy, um, I'm gonna say bad because it puts it at a tie, and then Gary has an answer. Ah, does it? Yes. Um, so I was rewording it as pretends a gift they shipped got lost because the question was asked if you were the person receiving it or you were shipping it. So, so I rephrase it so they pretend that the gift that they shipped got lost. Um, uh, and I have to be the tiebreaker. Mm. I'm gonna say, man, mm -hmm. the good elf because you don't want to hurt their feelings. <laughs> I say, I think it's bad because if the idea is that you shift, and if we're going on the concept that it, it's not coming at all, that's bad. Because that means you're not sending anything at all, and you're indicating that you did send something. Now, if you're planning on doing something later, like after Christmas, then maybe. But giving the auspices that your impression that you're going to be sending a gift and then you never do, right. it sucks. It'll suck, but you know, like that's kind of shady to me. All right, so I'm gonna say it's good because I'm gonna believe with hope in that the person will do the right thing after the fact and correct the issue. So if they never bought the gift, they will immediately scramble no, and get something. Lost in mail. I'll see about getting then that reshift. Or they're waiting for January yeah. sales. Oh, there goes Tony. Oh, they're waiting for January sales. So Gary, about that present I'm sending you for Christmas. About the what? <laughs> the present I'm sending you for Christmas. I think it got lost. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. I'm sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my my my. All right. Next elf behavior: panic buys a gift on Christmas Eve. Mm. I know that's that. It, 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 I'd say good because you actually bought them. But. Yeah, you're getting the presents getting a present anyway. It doesn't matter when they bought it. That's I mean, my... I literally didn't didn't order my Christmas presents for my family until like Monday. <laughs> Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm gonna say good and, and the main reason being that it it makes um like at least you're getting something. Like if 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 you if you're like, oh shit, I've got to got something, and it's on you, then you're going to have to deal with going outside, going amongst the public, dealing with all of that, you know, stress and potential anxiety, and maybe not finding what you're looking for. Um, now, if if you're if you go with the plan, you're good. Like that's the best part. Like yes, you're panic buying, but if you know what you're panic buying, then cool. Like, you know where you're going, you need to go to the shop. And yes, it's open, it happens to be open on Christmas Eve. Like, today is Sunday, so Christmas Eve on a Sunday. That would be kind of sucky because some places close early on Sundays normally, and it being Christmas Eve makes it even worse. 
So you make that plan, you get that gift. Yes, you're panicking, but at least you're getting it. But it also doesn't necessarily mean that you went out. You could have bought it online and been like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot. It's or, oh, uh, it looks like it's taking longer. Unfortunately, it won't be there until after Christmas. I'm sorry. Right. You let know, me, that let me of... get that tracking number for you. <laughs> <laughs> Even I, the I, I insist that started. people, if they're going to send me something, that they give me a tracking number because I want to want to know where it is. Because, <laughs> like, my parent parents sent me a box full of stuff that mostly I can't eat or don't like. Even <laughs> even in the worst case scenario, and the box the was left outside my door, so I'd like to know when it's well, delivered, so I can make sure that it's picked up and not actually stolen or something. But fortunately, my current apartment is not as big of a deal. But right, or it might be in the office, so I need to make sure to go to the office, and I want to know that it's there, so I just need one trip to the office. That's right. right. So. All right, so it sounds like we're pretty universal that that would be good because the 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 everybody's viewpoint is like at least they're buying the gift even if it right. is like kind of waiting to the last minute. Yeah. All right, so next uh, elf behavior: good elf or bad elf? Drunkenly calls their ex on the holiday. Bad elf. Bad. Yeah, I'm definitely. I, 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 I... Well, it depends on your relationship with the no, it doesn't. With the ex. <laughs> no, it doesn't. But the it's fact that it is drunken, that's probably bad. I mean, just drunken calling anybody. And, uh... Nobody benefits from a drunken call to an ex. You won't benefit when you wake up. The ex won't benefit from the feelings being hurt. The call won't benefit because at Christmas. You could have done it any other time. You picked Christmas? Really, Look, motherfucker? The call... Like, we it depends on what type of drunk you are. If you're a silly drunk, you might have the ex might have received a call and just be laughing their asses off hearing you talking dr drunk on the phone. I love it that people can only remember to call me at Christmas when they have to be drunk to do it. Personally, that's my favorite. I'm gonna just say bad and just bad. I think drunk calling, drunk calling, period. But drunk calling your ex on Christmas. Uh, like, I'm going to abstain from this because it, depending on the circumstance, it can go either way. <laughs> All right. So for the majority, it sounds like we, we think that's a bad behavior. Very bad. All right. <laughs> Next up, good elf or bad elf tries to get someone under the mistletoe. Mm -hmm. oh, good elf. Good elf. I, I feel that's I mean, you see, it, no, here's the thing is you said try to get someone under the mistletoe, but you a you could fail, b they could just refuse the kiss, and and c smoochy smoochy. It's I mean, like consent is involved, so it makes sense to me. Yeah, I'm gonna say good. Unless unless yeah. you're drunk and that person is your ex. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really good you because it's in the mail. <laughs> and you haven't gotten a gift yet because it's in the mail. See, it might be bad behavior though because it's a little manipulative. Because if they wanted to kiss you, they don't need mistletoe for that. So that part, that's my feeling. Well, that's why I'm saying it's, a, it's a try. It, it might not even be a hard try. It just said try. It doesn't say how hard. If you were you could just stand in a mistletoe and say, "Hey, come here." You can be wearing like one of those yeah. hats, the mistletoe. And if they refuse, it says, no, come here. And then you're like, no, come here. And you go back and forth for a bit. And then eventually they cave and either come over to you or you cave and go over to them and you fail on your try. In any case, it's, I, 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 I think I it's like you're telling the story out of history, not out of imagination. You know? <laughs> no, it's totally imagination. I don't think I've ever been to a place which has mistletoe hanging somewhere. It's fair. So, Damien, where do you land on this? Um, I said, I'm with with um, with Joshua, and I said, bad. Okay. Look, manipulation isn't necessarily bad. <laughs> no one said anything about manipulation. All I said was, 
tries to get someone. Yeah, when you try to, you're trying to manipulate somebody to do something. Listen, it might be a very harmless, benevolent uh, uh, manipulation, but it is still a manipulation. Manipulation just makes it sound bad. But you're still trying to manipulate. Another word is convince. Uh, No, offer an opportunity. Offer an opportunity. Present an opportunity. (laughs) Yes. I present to I'm you hold Mr. Toe and give you the opportunity to kiss me. Huh? <laughs> huh? Uh-huh. That's my attempt. Mm-hmm. If they say no, I want to kiss you anyway. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, it, it, it also comes to, to uh, how hard are you trying, you know? Oh, gosh. Uh, you will fucking kiss me, bitch. Like that's pretty <laughs> terrible. <laughs> well, and and also, it's uh, try to get somebody wow. under the mistletoe. You may be trying to hook somebody up. You might mm. be being like, "Hey, these two people would be great together. They should kiss under the mistletoe and try to manip- and try to get them them both under the mistletoe where they both have to kiss." I'm not falling for again. And then <laughs> who knows? It might be end up being a great relationship, or who knows. At least for but New Year's. To try the attempt there is not go. a bad thing. Last time that happened, Damon had his mistletoe below his belt. I'm not calling for that again. <laughs> it was one time through. One time. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Next, <laughs> next slide. Good elf or bad elf. Um Hides from their in-laws at the family gathering. Oh, that's a good elf. Good elf. Everyone does that. <laughs> especially, especially if you have a bad relationship with your in-laws. Yeah. If you have I'm a gonna... bad relationship with your in-laws and try to hide hide from them, get away from them, or for some reason you you are just you. You don't have the spoons for them for whatever reason. Hiding, pre- preventing the interaction that may be bad for someone, yourself, for them, for both of you. you just ruin the, the atmosphere, the entire gathering. Avoiding, avoiding the confrontation, the interaction. To make sure that everyone is having a good time. That's a good up. But what if you're avoiding them because they have said something and you don't want to have an argument, but this thing is so important that if you see them, you will have that argument. What if it's a problem where it's something that you should confront them about and you're trying to hide the confrontation by avoiding them? That's at another time, but not at the party. Mm. (laughs) See, I, I feel... I'm going to say you said hiding from your in-laws. Is it just hiding from your in-laws at a party, right? That's that's all I wrote. Okay. <laughs> at a holiday party. I'm gonna... David, David, you need to think for a minute. Joshua, I don't know how you do this. How do you write fictional shit and then like <laughs> not have your whole fucking cast and crew production like questioning your like motive and intention? I am not... I think... I think you need to be on set because that actually happens all the time. They're like, well, why am I doing this right now? Why am I picking up? I, 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 I feel like my character would, I'm like, no, you're doing what I wrote down. But- uh, actor, <laughs> actors have to know their motivation. What is my motivation? Sometimes they like to make up their motivations as well that aren't in the script, but that's okay. <laughs> that part. Like, oh. That, that, that might enhance the scene because you know, mm-hmm. good interpretation of what the scene is. Depends on the actor. <laughs> My argument would be, why did you put yourself in a situation where you have to avoid your in-laws in the first place? Is there a problem family with reunions, your in-laws? A family Christmas party. Doesn't matter. If it's that bad, you have to avoid them. Don't go to the party. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm with that because I don't believe in being around people that are toxic. So That part. 
But if it's the in-laws, not you going not to the party, essentially being uh, being hiding from from them. What was that term? I, I was just saying, if it's the in-laws, you might not have a choice. They might be coming to you. Oh, oh no, they wouldn't be coming. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> Then you would have had an argument with your significant other. Oh, you guys put that on bad. It was well, bad because you forgot to invite them to, because you invited them in the first place. So I thought we we started this all as most people thought it was good, and now after this conversation, I don't know where we. Oh, I, I'm 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 still in the good. Well, after good. I think it's bad. A lot of baths. That's kind of awkward in person now. I'm saying good. I'll say good. Down bad. Tony? Good. Okay. So mostly good. I think it's I, and the main reason being being um if you don't want to be I mean the the thing would be for me would be they wouldn't like like we've been saying like I wouldn't go or be engage with them all together like that would be the whole like fucking thing like if this is some people that i don't necessarily want to be around then oh i'm uh, i'm sick um or the other people to, for the mail. to be around <laughs> no yeah. it ends up being kind of a catch-22 yeah well the the if the husband if the well husband because uh, um if the husband um if the husband wants to go and I don't, then that's their choice to go. Fair. It's their family because it's my they're my in-laws. So yeah. All right, moving on. Next behavior. <laughs> Good elf or bad elf. Embarrasses their coworkers at the holiday work party. Bad. 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 Next bad. question. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't have gone anyway, so I wouldn't have embarrassed it. I thought that was pretty straightforward, but I was waiting to see if there if there would have been any debate about that. Like, there's no, since there's no additional context, hmm. meaning, like, why are you embarrassing them? If it's because they're an asshole or you're, they've done something to you, then there's a different sort of sex. Oh. Just saying embarrassed coworker at holiday party no like right. yeah uh, i will definitely do that i mean there's always the your roast you're it, at the holiday party you're having a roast for for them and uh, which is the intent is to embarrass them them or you know the the whole like somebody's doing them doing some sort of performance and so they bring them on stage and be silly and stuff and embarrass yeah. them that way i mean that's kind of that's okay and that's fair but yeah me being, I don't like being embarrassed, uh, and I don't like embarrassing moments. Definitely, is still bad for me. But there are certain situations where embarrassment would be good. But in general, bad. The way David had kind of phrased that a moment ago, it made it sound like, and I'm I'm reading between the non-statement that if it was revenge, perhaps it would be permissible. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. To be fair, vengeance is always permissible, <laughs> no matter what the context. All right, next behavior. Good elf or bad elf passes off store-bought food as made from scratch. Bad. Good elf. Uh, mixed feelings, but I'm going to say good. I think it needs context, but I'm going to say good. Yeah, yeah, I think Tony and I are on the same page. 10 out of 10, good elf. You rocket king. Live the dream. Yeah, I'd say good. Everyone's allowed one naughty thing. That's fair. I, I mean, this is fair. one of the things that, that that if you're caught in the lie, it's really not that big of a deal. Yeah. I'm going to say, oh, gosh. Oh. I'm going to say bad only because Ooh. it's a lie. Yeah. To me, it feels weird. If you're, if you're passing something off store bought as your own, that's like, you know, 
kind of cheating very much in a cheaty way. Like that's not the, that's not how I feel about it. Now, really if it's me, for me. Wait, wait, here comes the caveat. <laughs> I don't cook much. I can potentially probably bake something if I followed a, a recipe. I could probably do a pretty good job of baking because baking is very precise. But nine times out of 10, I'm not gonna make something. I'm gonna buy something because the bakers, the chefs, the cooks at the stores or whatever, probably are really much, far more better at doing things than I am. So I'm gonna go buy it because they can do it better than I can. Can I potentially make something? Probably, but I'm not gonna, if I bake, if I'm buying something, it is coming probably in the package that it was bought in. <laughs> Here's this box of donuts. Like <laughs> well, I made the box too. <laughs> so so David is willing to be the person that buys the stuff, but will not pass it off as yeah. his own. No. The, the, the problem with this question for you, Damon, is is you wouldn't even make anything in the first place. So everybody like already you know that it was store bought. Yeah. So they would they would automatically yeah. catch you in the lie anyway. Or in this case, if like Jim made something and I brought it, I'm like, oh who made this? I'd be like, Jim, I'm not gonna say it's me. I know I didn't make it. You should know I didn't make it. Like <laughs> <laughs> you should know. Now if I if I did make something and I and plus, and you're too lazy good. to just it just transfer the the store bought thing. Why to do a presentation to make it look like it's something that you would have made? Why do that? Like, what's the point in that? Why dirty a dish? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's not okay. <laughs> yeah, I think I would switch it to bad because mostly because it just makes that you a bad liar. Then because it's very clear that you didn't make a store bought thing. They're very just, it's very clear when something's store Look, I'm just really so. good at seasoning and baking the chicken. <laughs> I think you can always style I have one it out. of those rotisserie machines. You can always style it out. Maybe you'd be like, oh, I made the turkey, but I didn't make the bacon blankets, but I'm not going to tell them that. I'm like, I'm like yeah, I made those too. Fuck it. Why not? I'll just tuck that in there. What else? Like, everyone's allowed one little white lie. No one's going to have a go at you about it. No one's going to question you about it. Say it and cut the, the bring between so you don't have to tell them what store you got it from. Yeah, I wouldn't care as long as it tastes good. And it depends on what it's for. If you're doing a, a work potluck, nobody cares. <laughs> I don't even ask at that work potluck. I'm just like, is this food good? Yeah. <laughs> no, cool. I guess the muscle goes, did you make this? Did you make that? <laughs> did you make that? Is this I'm homemade? Just like, mm. I'm just happy you brought something, but if you got to lie about it, if you can lie about the little things. What else are you lying matter. about? Yeah. I mean, when you think about it, some things you make, but it's really store by. So, for example, little smokies. And you have like a little, little uh, slow cooker or crock pot, mm -hmm. chafing dish. With barbecue sauce and then just just swimming in in a thing of of uh, little smokies for people to to to, to uh, uh, um, dick dick <laughs> stab to, to stab and eat. You know, you still had to put those two things together and put them into into the 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 crock pot, the warming dish. So you did make something, but you know, in essence, it's all so black. I'm just gonna make a little smokies. Yeah, I don't. I don't think. In in your example, Jeff, people would necessarily consider that made from scratch. But I made my own sausages. <laughs> <laughs> right. I'm really good at encasing everything, so they don't have the little little <laughs> ties at the end. Yeah. <laughs> right. Everything is clean and precise. You'd never guess. How do you cut them apart? I use a curling iron. <laughs> or a soldering iron. God. Curling iron in the kitchen. <laughs> All right. Last but not least, good elf or bad elf kisses Santa because they couldn't resist those rosy cheeks.
Bad elf unless Santa gave permission. <laughs> I'm assuming there is consent, consent. good. <laughs> if there isn't consent, bad. If there isn't consent, it's always bad, but I'm assuming there's <laughs> consent. I'm assuming and Santa and Mrs. Claus are open as well, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say good, and it depends on which cheeks. Oh. <laughs> yes. That is totally fair. <laughs> I mean, in general, good. And only if it makes me his side elf. <laughs> uh, so I think that's good. <laughs> As yeah. the majority. I was going to say bad only because of the whole consent thing, but that's just me. If consent is, if consent has been given, then yes. That That's Good. what I'm hearing as, as the footnote across the board is pretty much like, if consent is given, then it's a yes, but if not, then it's bad. Right. Oh, there we go. Nice. So out of the behaviors, the 10 of them, Uh, a majority came out good. If I counted them right, six of them came out as good. One, two, three, four of them came out as bad. Interesting. Bing, 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 bing. bing. Lots of discussion in the in that. Uh, the <laughs> All right. So moving on. Holiday most likely twenty twenty three edition. The group majority decides who amongst the party people present is most likely to do the following. I vote Damon. <laughs> Drew hasn't even heard any of them yet. He's like, got it. Yep. All right. Number one, dye their hair in colors to go with the holiday season. <laughs> well, uh, Drew is out. <laughs> I don't know. I see a pretty white beard right there that could get could get dyed. Uh huh. And and that's why I would say Drew, because I think <laughs> Drew would have the fun doing like the, like the, the the glitter beard or something along those lines. Like doing a fun like run, going out to doing something. Yeah. You run red and green plaid. There. Oh God, that would be terrible. That would take forever. <laughs> Ain't got time for that. Um, <laughs> Actually, it's technically candy cane because it's red and white striped. The white was the natural hair. Ah, but I'm saying Drew. Uh, I, I will say Drew too. Not to say he would actually do it, just out of the people here, I feel like he's the most likely to do it. I don't feel I know Drew well enough to say this, so I'm not going to say Drew, but I am going to say Jeff. Oh. I feel. Not knowing Drew personally, sorry, Drew. Hi, nice to meet you. I see you once a year. This is it. Hi, bye. <laughs> hey, looking good. Not knowing Drew, I feel Jeff is most likely to dye his hair for a festive spirit. I would agree with you there. Two for, two for Jeff, two for Drew. Pony. Oh, <laughs> I, I was going to say Jeff, but that was just me. <laughs> so true story, I did do it once, but it wasn't dyed. It was just a uh, powdered color. Mm. And it was I mean, like, like, I, I, I think that's that's still a type of dye and it's temporary, but yeah. someone, someone painted it for me. I will say I've always wanted to, but um, I always have this like worry about doing things. Um, uh, um, depending on how long it's going to last, like a day, I might be okay, but like doing things for longer than um, something that's going to last a, a while longer. I don't know. And plus, you usually have to go blonde, like to get colors to show, like like light, 
and that's gonna take a minute that's gonna take a while when your hair is black black yeah yeah i used to bleach my hair when i was in college but yeah so from the sounds of it who, where was it at i thought it was Jeff. okay yeah. One. Jeff by one. Yeah, we got three me, two Drew. Okay, that's what I thought. I wanted to be sure I wasn't. Out of the three hosts, I'm probably the one who is the silliest. So, on a side note, if you do do the red and white, don't do the red by your corner of your mouth. So you look like you're bleeding. <laughs> Vampire. Just saying. Good to know. To wow. All right. Uh, who is the most likely of a, of those of us present to avoid cleaning up after a holiday meal? I would say Jeff. <laughs> I'd be guessing, but I was going to say Jeff. <laughs> 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 so i'm gonna base my statement on the looks of people's faces when that question was asked and the person that looked like they gave the biggest side eye to themselves was damon wow. now that's 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 the easy way for me to say i don't know how clean you are and i'm gonna leave it at that <laughs> I would say Jeff because Jeff volunteered himself. So, <laughs> and it's definitely not Gary. Nope. No. Because nope. Gary's way too OCD. Or is it OCT? No diagnosis. So, as far as I'm aware. <laughs> I I was I was gonna say Jeff, and I'm yeah, but I also also because he said himself. I would also say that Damon probably would come in a close second. Funny you all say that, bitches. <laughs> but if I'm not the one cooking, I would usually be the one cleaning. Cause, and normally I'm not the one cooking. So I would usually either help cook, clean, or something along those lines. So you believe in the equity of the labor? Like if you're not the one preparing, then you're the one yeah. taking care of it at the end. Yeah. Which makes sense in that case. Yeah, I think I think the reason that we were kind of laughing is I, I don't know if anybody was expecting anyone to just <laughs> call them them. themselves. Yeah. Right, call call themselves and say, "Oh, it's me." <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh. All right. Next up, uh, who is the most likely to eat all the holiday candy when no one is around? Hmm. Drew. I feel like I'm going to put my vote for Drew <laughs> because I feel like Drew seems like the kind of person that's like, oh, yeah, don't worry about it. I guess just leave the bag with me. He's like, oh, yeah, give me that shit. <laughs> well, I can see that. I would go with Drew as well. Uh, I, I will also say I got this as part of my package for my parents. Ah. Uh, I got this one uh, a year or two ago. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so this is just proof. Not me. <laughs> Did you just have that from a year or two ago handy to buy your desk? I, I kind of like ended up like like putting it like nearby. And just never moved it I thought for it a year. Movie. So it just it's just been here this entire time. I'm going to actually say I'm going to say Lloyd. Because why not? <laughs> I think that's fair. However, unfortunately, I don't really have a sweet tooth. Oh, shame on you. 
Yeah, I just, I, you know, I, I kind of lost my sweet tooth too, except when it comes to like, like beverages. I need like a lemonade or, or something. I always need some sort of flavor and especially with sweet, but like candies, I haven't been into candies or cookies or anything like that. I'll do cake. I love cake. But I'm like, like above it. Above I'm a pie person, but it's kind cake. of the same thing. Just your cake on pot. Yeah, just candies. I'm like, nah, bro. Nah. Mm-mm. Have I got a Yule log for you? <laughs> <laughs> and it's a real one. I got photos. <laughs> <laughs> Drew, who do you think? No. Everybody's accusing you. And what it is, I would say. I'm like, these are really good. You should try some. No, I'll eat your portion. <laughs> <laughs> Grab them, say they're yours. I'll eat them off your plate. Um, I don't know. If I just had to either, well, now that <laughs> he's already said he's got candy canes for decorations for years, not eating them. <laughs> <laughs> The M and M candy cane thing. So, right. Here, Damon, who were you thinking? I think I said, um, I said Lloyd. Oh, okay. Yeah. Is there a tie, or is it true? <laughs> uh, no. I was just trying to make sure. Um. I'm going to throw myself under the bus going glass and say me. Ah. Oh. <laughs> because I know me well enough that if if the, the sugar snacking thing arises, then yeah. Have to be careful. I think about that. Probably you. <laughs> All right. Next up. Who amongst us is most likely to drink too much eggnog? Nobody. <laughs> about a face on the <laughs> It looked like it was, it was it was it was funny. You said it and then Josh made a face, then Lloyd made a face, <laughs> and Jeff made a face, and then Drew made a face and I'm like <laughs> Drew I was like with good brandy or rum. I'm good to go. Oh, I would, and I'm actually gonna. You said too much eggnog, then I, I would go Drew. Only I would go next. Maybe Jeff might be, not Jeff. Gary, you might be second. If I had to pick between you two, because I feel like you two would love the, <laughs> like boozy eggnog, having fun. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of things in this country that I've had to learn and understand. The culture, the people, the transport. But I'll never understand what your obsession with drinking raw yolks mixed with alcohol is. Well, I but it's don't not, get it. But it's not just raw yolks. It's it's heavy cream with the mm-hmm. sugar. Mm-hmm. With not making it better. The nutmeg. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All like you know, homogenized and blended together with the liquor. Well, and... we don't have to do the booze. <laughs> I mean, no, the, the, the egg, egg is in the name, right? The the it is given. It is traditionally made with milk, cream, sugar, egg yolks, and whipped egg whites, which give it gives it a frothy texture and its name. Oh, the distilled spirits oh. such as brandy, rum, whiskey, or bourbon is often a key ingredient. Now, to be fair, uh, my family has, I grew up with uh, Orange Julius, which for us is made with a can of concentrated orange juice. A can basically filling it using the concentrated orange juice can. With the measurement, a water, a can of milk, some vanilla, eggs, sugar, 
pop it into a blender and blend it up. It is kind of eggnog-ish, but it tastes better. So, it doesn't use heavy cream. Yeah. I, I knew that it was... <laughs> I knew most likely I was going to say Drew um, just because I know him that well. But I will ask this question, and it, and no, and obviously there's only so many hands that will go up. Who here has actually made eggnog from scratch? <laughs> Lloyd, you've actually made it? Yeah. I've, you shouldn't insult something until you've tried it. And about – about that includes – and that about maybe <laughs> – 10, 15 years ago, we went to a party and I was like, you know what? I'm going to make eggnog for this party. I'm going to see what's up. So I went down, sat down, made a recipe, put it all together, got a nice little jug, came in, poured it, get a little like frothy topping. They went, here you go, guys. And I tried it myself and I was like, what is wrong with this country? <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem with it right here. Aww. Well, they are in an imperialistic system. So. You also drink eggnog over there, mate. <laughs> I, no, I would you were saying this problem. country, and you are not in this country. You are in a different country, <laughs> which is in <laughs> in parliamentary monarchy. I'd go out with girly and girl. They got flights of eggnog. We got to try it. Oh my god! Could you imagine? <laughs> Actually, I can. One, I can Brandy too. One, virgin one. A salted caramel. Mm -hmm. A peppermint. <laughs> a mocha. Mm -hmm. Drew, we are on to a multi-million dollar a concept here. Pre-bottled, ready to mix. Yep. Four to five. We could be on Shark Tank, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. See you well, media. <laughs> nice. All right, next up, who is most likely to refuse to leave home when it's cold outside? Jeff. I'm just letting everybody go around. Like, I was going to say, like, Jeff is just, I will refuse to leave home. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't work. <laughs> I won't leave home, period. Not because it's cold. I just don't want to. Oh, it's cold. It just happens to be cold. Or it just happens to be Wednesday. Like, that's the. <laughs> <laughs> no, continue. Yeah, I <laughs> okay, who else? So we got Drew said me, Damon saying me. I'm not saying you. I'm just, oh. I just, I'm just going contributing. Like, oh. like, period. Like, that's a given. Like, I, if, um, I was I was say myself for this one. Mm. As a Ghanaian who has come to this lovely country, I find your weather to be disgusting. Especially around this time. I hate it. I hate everything about it. I hate the fact that I'm sat here with the heating on and I'm still cold. Sucks. I I just want to go back to tropical country again. This sucks. I hate it. So Lloyd. Yes. Last Saturday I went hiking in 38 degree weather. <laughs> the fact that I don't know what 38 degrees is <laughs> makes it even worse. That's three degrees. Oh, thanks. I appreciate that. That really helps. It doesn't help. <laughs> three degrees Celsius <laughs> is the equivalent of 38 Fahrenheit. Anything below 15 is cold. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what 15 is for you, but 15 for me is always cold. Okay, so it's three degrees above freezing. <laughs> No, I'm not going out. Screw that. <laughs> I don't care how hot the guy is. We're having sex in the house, not out the house. <laughs> nice. So it sounded like one Lloyd and one Jeff. Any others? I mean, based on that passionate defense, it's Lloyd, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to give it to Lloyd. Yeah. Like... That's fair. I will give it to Lloyd because of, for two reasons. One, admission and two i would never not leave the house because it's cold yeah i'm from minnesota that that part, so yeah. like cold in i Texas wouldn't be leaving like... the house anyways but not because it's cold right right 
right, right, right. <laughs> All valid points. Okay. So it goes to Lloyd that round. Uh, next up, re-gift something they received last year. Wait, last year, not this year? <laughs> this year? <laughs> this year, yo? This year? Straight up, this year? Well, I'm going to say Lloyd. <laughs> <laughs> This year, mate. This year. It sounds like he would do it even this year. year. I, I am doing it this year. I am So if he still has something that he's that he he hasn't used, it's going to give to somebody else next year. Be like, oh, I could use that. Oh, I didn't use this. Uh, let me use this to somebody else. I have received a few presents. And some presents were definitely ill-advised of how I received them. And I know people who would appreciate them more. So why would I deprive them of a better present when I can just wrap it up, pass it to them, and be like, have this for Christmas? Now, if it, they were the person that gave it to you, then probably not. But um... <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. I'm not going to lie. I was tempted to give it back to the same person, but I held off. Yeah. Mm. Different circles. Yeah. You Work always... party. Yeah, work Christmas party gift went to somebody else yeah. outside of work. Yeah, I'm gonna say um I'm gonna say Lloyd again. Lloyd. Yeah. Lloyd. Lloyd has given us perfect just just enough ammunition. Just I am the worst. But there's no know. problem with admitting things, okay? Yeah. Cause if it wasn't gonna be Lloyd, it's gonna be B. I'm gonna just say that right now. Like well, I also don't think there's anything wrong with regifting if it's a if it, if it's exactly what Lloyd says. If you think it's a gift that somebody will enjoy better, yeah, so. yeah. that's fair. That's that's a good way to put it. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, regifting is not necessarily a bad thing. No, right. it's just a, it, not necessarily <laughs> right. That was the last round. This is most likely. Yeah. Now, to be fair. Lloyd may be the most likely to regift, but he is also the most likely not to leave the house when it's cold outside. So the regifting may have like a limited issue. Like, <laughs> it may not actually go anywhere. I'm gonna, we'll get a tracking number, be fine. But when it comes to, to regifting something from last year, it was too cold last year, but it, for some reason it's warmer this year. So I he's mean, actually going out and giving gifting this year. I think. I think Christmas or this Christmas around this time last year was in the twenties or teens. And this year it was literally in the sixty, like fifty, sixties today. And I was just like, cool. Um yeah. Climate change. Climate change. All that shit. Anyway. Yeah. All right. Next well, up. Well then there there's also here in, in Austin where it's like sixty-nine degrees. Yeah. Wow. Next one. Who is most likely to get naughty with a coworker in the closet at the work holiday party? Brew. Awesome. <laughs> right right out the gate. Especially since you don't know me. I don't know you. <laughs> I might resemble that remark. <laughs> that might. And it may have been the inventory room. There you go. I feel I want to say not Joshua, but Joshua's environment. Mm. I feel Joshua's environment for workplace is so sexually charged that people would be getting off in the closet. But I thought Joshua would make it a very important point not to be the one to do it. I, yes, I think that's actually 100% accurate, actually. <laughs> I think that sounds dangerous because most likely Joshua has a camera. <laughs> so that sounds like evidence could be like, like acquired. Well, 
sometimes you have to use certain pictures to get people to agree to certain parts. So. <laughs> Yes, you're going to play that role, Exhibit A. <laughs> exactly. I mean, how do I get the same people working with me six, seven, eight years in a row? Wow. You heard it here first, folks. This is not accurate, by the way. But but it is accurate that. <laughs> no, it is but it's absolutely that, hilarious. <laughs> it is very accurate that the Sidekick Productions uh, Christmas party might end up with somebody in the closet, yes. Uh, two people in the closet, or three or four, not Joshua, but uh, there's <laughs> not, a lot not. of other people there. Mm -hmm. it starts to sound like a walk-in closet. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> but the question is, who's here? Right. That's why I said true. Sadly, sadly, Joshua's employees are not here. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, well, I'll I'll just... I, okay. Obviously, yes, Joss's employees, but they're not here, so I'm going to have to go with Drew. So here's the thing. I can't say Damon because Damon would be like, actually, we got to get ready. I got to get my letter wrong. I got to go good. I'm going to be ready. I'm like, yep, take too long. <laughs> I can't say Gary because he'd be like, I had chili tonight. I can't say Jeff because no leaves his house. So it's got to be Andrew. I'm sorry, Drew. Odd one Guilt out. If I can't pick Joshua's environment, I have to pick you. Guilt by elimination. I like it. I don't feel like Lloyd would do such a thing. I will, I will say it's not me, mostly because um, I, don't, I don't like the people I work with. Um, <laughs> In that way or any way? <laughs> in mostly that way, but some anyway. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. There was, when I first started working in the um, department I used, I work, used to work in technically now, um, there were a couple of guys that was like, mm, very nice looking, very fun. Um, one of them turned out to be a massive dick, not like a massive, like, like, a, like an asshole. Um, mm -hmm. And the other one, um still you know handsome sweet but very much a family man very much a um conservative family man yeah. handsome but no shot yeah right i i have one or two of those if yeah from that yeah. way too but myself so and then yeah there was one other one and but he he left so and in any case, Drew won? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the record, Drew, when you go back to work, I don't know if I tell people about <laughs> the, 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 that particular <laughs> so honorific. A few years ago, at two jobs ago, I've not done it at this current work. <laughs> well, there is one place you could get away with it because you have to have a key in order to get into the closet. Oh. But, yeah, no. not enough there to pique my interest yet that I would risk it. Right. <laughs> right, right. No, I hear you on that. All right, last one. Who amongst us is most likely to take a vacation during the holidays to skip spending time with family? Damon. I think it might be me as well, though. Oh. <laughs> I can see that, Josh. I can see that. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to go with Josh. I can see that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially with admission. So. But I. With admission, I'll concede to Josh. Yeah. It makes our lives easier when somebody admits that it's themselves. Yeah. But I also say that's probably not that would it'd be really hard for that to happen for me to actually like plan a vacation because realistically this is Jen's busy time mm -hmm. like like <laughs> December basically Thanksgiving through New Year's is Jim's busy time so us going somewhere and doing something 
planning anything during this time of year, not going to happen really. Um, me Nobody too, said honey. Jim had to go. I, that's what I was getting to, honey. Um, <laughs> That being said, um, the good thing, well, not the good thing, most of the time, um, my family doesn't do Christmas much. Like Thanksgiving, yes. Christmas, no. Um, so I could potentially schedule something around this time and be okay with the exception of Jim's side of the family, which we do do something for. Like we went, we just came for something today. Um, and as my um, co-host will under snow, I mentioned like, Things were kind of told last minute about timing, and I wasn't 100% sure I was going to be here on time because of that. And that's where it would have been like, oh, no, I scheduled um, a vacation, and neither one of us are going to be able to go. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't get away with that. My family would be fine. When are you coming back? We're scheduling it. Then. <laughs> yeah. Right. But I could also see where Josh can be like, I'm so booked. I've got I've got scheduling to do things to do. And we just it just happens to fall like during the thing and I'm gonna be out of town. Like, oh no. I have to go scout a location. There you go. And it's out of the country in a remote area. No sir. Without any Wi-Fi or <laughs> any ability to do any video chatting or anything. I'm so sorry about that. I'm so sorry. And for and me, I'm on for me, considering I don't live near any of my family, they're all in the north and I'm in the south. Right. Uh, I just say, oh, I'm sorry, I don't have any vacation time to use to to leave, and I I, I, I have to work. So that would be. I just stop saying I'm not going to be there. I love my family bits. Sometimes a bit too much for us to get together. Mm. It's easy if I go, I can't make it, plan without me. Nice. That's fair. Um, I would, Damon, like, initially, as I was like, I was like, yep, I could see me doing that. Um, I don't I don't have the, the spouse with the holiday commitment uh, situation, but so, yeah. In that case, it appears that it was uh, Joshua is the most likely. So out of those eight rounds, uh, two for Jeff, two for Lloyd, one for Joshua, and three for Drew. Who has disappeared off camera? Probably had to go. Wait, 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 wait. To celebrate. Pause. Oh, nice. Give for the applause, applause, applause. Wait. Okay, Gaga. <laughs> Although um, I don't think that 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 the applause emotes actually comes up on uh, the stream screen, unfortunately. But we'll find out. No, I already checked. So oh, I was like, I was curious about that. I was like, is that going to come up on the the live stream? All right. So that's two uh, games. Hmm. And then and I'm about the way through my drink. <laughs> all right. So we're coming up on the naughtiest of all for 2023. Now, to be fair, last year was pretty extensive. Um, there were 69 activities. Oh god. Ah, nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I covered a lot of stuff last year. So uh I paired it back um to less than half that so this won't uh necessarily take as long okay um so does uh, damon as our uh Ooh. do you need our, me to, do you need do you need pa do i need paper hold on no i have i have a whole spreadsheet girl like I've oh, got, okay it's a point system <laughs> oh calculate oh <laughs> wow you can prepare jesus but as the as the person who was the winner last year, do you happen to recall like what the what the concept behind was this? Oh gosh, thing? I I don't I don't. That's I okay. Will. I just wanted I wanted to give you the opportunity as the as the title holder <laughs> to explain things, but uh, that's all right. 
So depending on how naughty you've been in your lifetime, you might be getting less presents next year. Or you might not receive any at all. Then again, you might be deemed worthy of receiving a punishment for being just so naughty. And perhaps you want to be punished for being that naughty. So ultimately, it comes down to how many presents is Santa not going to give you because you've been extra naughty? Now, keep in mind that some of these activities are just worth one present that you're not going to receive. But there are other activities that result in receiving a lump of coal, which is worth losing two presents. And I did happen to mention earlier about Krampus. And that means you're going to get whacked with a stick because these are the most egregious of the naughty activities. Oh, dear. And for those of you who would impact play, calm down. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> oh god. So I'm here's... glad I'm wearing I'm glad I'm wearing the ABCs of Pink shirt. So <laughs> nice. So here's what we do. As I run through the activities, you just need to say uh if it's if it's a yes or a no for you, as in you have done this thing or you have not. Um, and then I indicate on the sheet, and then we go from there um, as we move along. So, activity number one. You have held in your hand a stranger's genitalia. No. Yes. 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 Jeff, Jeff, no? No. Wow. I just really hang on a second. I gotta. I didn't put these in the names in alpha order on the tracking sheet, so I'm all like, <laughs> I'm like, what I is like standard? Is that not a standard thing for homosexuals everywhere? Am I wrong? <laughs> Especially when you're 18. Yeah, like it's it's somebody else's. <laughs> another person. Myself. That's sure. another matter altogether. That's fair. Yeah, that's fair. All right. Uh, next one. Have been in a relationship with more than one person at the same time? No. Yep. And this is ever in life, right? Correct. Ever, ever up to this day in your lifetime. Oh, oh the is, I thought it was just over this past year. No, no, no. This is this is over the course of your lifetime. Have you okay, ever been? Then, then yes, on the first one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, now uh, Jeff knows why everybody was like, "Really?" <laughs> I, I thought I thought we were just talking about this year. The ant, yes, technically yes. So the, on the current question, it, does the triad count? Yes. Okay. I suspect the next one to be in a relationship without them knowing that they're related to each other. Is the next question. Ah. I suspect it's the next question. Yeah, no, this is just simply been in a relationship with more than one person at the same time. So to Drew's point, a triad would count. Um, you could be in a in a triad, a quad, a quint, doesn't matter. It's more than one other person. Interesting. So yes, for me as well. There's some right. overlap. <laughs> Suddenly, David's got a Venn diagram in his life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next up, uh, French kissed someone before puberty. No. Before nope. puberty. Mm hmm. Hmm. Maybe in the middle of puberty. <laughs> I'm a good Christian boy, baby. Mm -mm, not for me. Oh, I have to, I'm, you're asking me to go back some years. Um, I too remember the war. 
<laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yes. Oh. Okay. Wait. Wait. Mm. Yes, I go ahead and say yes. I'm, I'm trying to pinpoint a certain aspect in time, and then trying to pinpoint a relative thing that was happening at so around. That's a long time. Ago. It's a relative. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. And I sat down. <laughs> there was other things. This never French kissed. Yeah. That, so this this list is here. This, these are all things that were not on last year's list. So okay. these are all brand new intentionally. So that's why there might be some specificity a little bit here and there because it's different than what had been said before. <laughs> all right. Next up, had sex out in nature. Yes. 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 <laughs> it was cold. Was that, was that, was hot. that was a clean sweet. It was just a couple hours from here, too. It's a gay rite of passage. You got to check out those at least once. And I, I think I went... had sex a couple of times at the, at the camp. I just thought it was funny how Lloyd, like, it was an affirmative, but then it like, was having this bad memory. <laughs> I was like, what are we doing outside? I have a lovely house. I pay money for this house. Why do I want to change the house? Fine, fuck it. We're done now. I want to go home. Okay, Lloyd, show us on the dial how cold it was. <laughs> like, November, like, man, nice. It was hot, though, to be fair. All right, next up. Had sex in an outdoor shower. Yes. You wouldn't catch me in an outdoor shower. I'll tell you about right now. Hold on. I'm, I'm muted, I think. Am I muted? No, no you're not, not muted. God damn it. Had <laughs> sex in an outdoor shower. Thinking. Processing. Mm -mm. No. This is any kind of sexual play, right? Or all two other. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say sexual activity, but yeah, I mean, got off you. Got a second in a sh outdoor shower. Um, yeah, I think I don't. Mm -mm. Camp it. No. <laughs> For clarification <laughs> to our listening audience, that's not Drew trying to like help David remember something. <laughs> Through remembering something. Right. <laughs> I'm just trying to think of oh gosh. Um outdoor, I'm trying to first I'm trying to think of outdoor showers where I've seen or been a part of or had outdoor showers. That's the first part. And then going, did I have sex there? <laughs> right. And I think the answer is no. Right. If it's taking you this long, then I'm gonna probably say no. No. All right. Can't have, can't have sex outdoor showers if you never have outdoor showers. That's true. All right. Next up, had sex in a creepy and possibly unsafe location. Yes. No, but that would be a great movie. Yeah. No. No. But garages aren't necessarily creepy and unsafe. Workplaces aren't necessarily creepy and unsafe. McDonald's bathrooms are, though. Oh, would you call them creepy or I, would call, I mean, unsafe for sure, because you can very easily get caught. It's a very popular, very busy place. Does, and it was a bathroom. Can we, like, can we clarify that get caught counts? I mean, personally, I don't feel that a McDonald's bathroom is creepy. Um, <laughs> you didn't see the guy. <laughs> oh, side note, do graveyards count as creepy? Yes. Another fairly big cottaging area for a lot of homosexuals in England. It could be. Especially at night. I mean, if you thought it was creepy, I would say it's fair, but I would say that's creepy in right. general. I think they're more erotic than creepy, but that's just me. Uh, 
Yeah, that's well, fair. I'm not the guy the demon doctor. Yeah, nobody's surprised by this actually. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that was a no? Oh no, that's a yes. Oh, that's okay. Yards. Okay. I'll switch mine to yes. Oh. All right. Really? Not at the same time as Drew, by the way. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no causation and correlation there. Just, you know. <laughs> so he says they were next to each other in the graveyard. It was just like two headstones apart. Uh, I was go. a stranger. <laughs> they just high-fived <laughs> each other in the middle of the graveyard. <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> All right, next one. Did not wear clothes to bed as a way to attempt sex with someone else. I, w- I would say, say yes. And I would do it again. <laughs> mm. Ye- yes. I'm borderline on how to answer this. I sleep naked anyway. So I preface that. Well, I feel like we should look for you intentionally made sure you slept naked because you were like, oh, hey, man, I'm, I'm naked. You're wearing clothes, but you could take them off. We could, uh, I mean, to, to be fair, I mean, it's it more of I was hoping to have sex and I normally sleep naked anyways. So it's it, it kind of ends up covering both bases. Yeah. If you put it that way, <laughs> then I have to say yes. I was going yeah, to answer. Be your year. Well, let's just say this. To put it at a, at a certain point of view, even though you may be a person who doesn't wear clothes to bed, you have an opportunity to choose to wear clothes. And you think to yourself, but I won't. And if something happens, then that's the Without winning outcome. Uh, win-win. I'm guilty. <laughs> <laughs> that I'm guilty. I well, anyway. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to spoon you in the middle of the. Don't I mean, you why you're here? Work? But since I'm here. <laughs> and but don't. Right. All right. Next up, had sex with someone else. Mm-hmm. To make up for the bad sex you had earlier that day. Yes. I'm pretty no. sure. I can't remember the specific time, but I'm pretty sure this happened. What was this it again? Wasn't intentionally to make up for bad sex. Look, you had bad sex, then later on you had good sex the same day. Make up for you cho- no, 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 no. to make up for the bad sex from earlier. Right, Jeff's on the on the right track. You had bad sex, and you intentionally had sex again the exact same day to try to make up for the bad sex oh, earlier. No, nah, fuck, nah, uh-uh. no, no. David, David's like, hang on a second. David's David's got to go through the Rolodex. And- <laughs> think oh, man, a lot of men in Texas. <laughs> it's like that wasn't so great. Let's try it again. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I'm just like, right. I'm just I immediately thought about bathhouse and I was like, yeah, that, that. well, I speaking of, like speaking of. That can happen, right? What's well, that? You're like, oh, that wasn't very good, but I'll just find someone else to make it better, I guess, in a way. It's potential. You want to so, cancel out the bad, right? With and with that in mind, I'm gonna switch mine to yes. <laughs> <laughs> Now that we gave him a working example, Lloyd's like, hold up. All right. Now, <laughs> hold now, on. Exactly. All right. No, I'm not, I feel I feel I can say yes to that because I feel like I would have bad sex and be like, oh, it's a bit shit. I don't want to go home just yet. Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, hell no. I want to sleep on a high note tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. All right. So, with, speaking of bathhouses, next up, this is a pretty straightforward one had sex in a bathhouse. Yes. Yep. Yes. Hey, Only on TV. Right. Sorry, what's that, Jennifer? Only on TV. Ah. <laughs> no. Okay, Jeff's the no. Continuing on that theme. Now, this is going to be 
uh, only for the four out of six of us then, had sex in a bathhouse before a date? Yes. No. Before a date? No. No. All right, so go ahead, Lloyd. On that subject, I feel we should change the term of bathhouses. Because nowadays, there's a lot of places you can go to have wanton sex that doesn't involve going to a bathhouse. In England, we have like a club night called the Lord Clyde, which is like a Wednesday naked night. And it's really like, oh, hang out, get drinks, go downstairs, shag a man, move on. So I feel like the gay world has moved past bathhouses as like a starting point. The dark room. Yeah, to like, it's not even that dark in the Lord Clyde. It's like, it's just like people, that's the way it looks like. I feel like we're no longer using bathhouses as a fake place to go. Well, for but see, no, no, no. That sounds to me like a planned orgy. Yep. Like that's there's fair. a venue, it's hosted, there's an intent. There's a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's always a buffet. Okay. So just make sure there's not Cheetos. <laughs> or if there is Cheetos, that you provide everybody with chopsticks. And also, a planned orgy, don't you also technically have the same thing in a bathhouse? No. No, I guess you're right. There's a whole, like... Yeah. Usually at a bathhouse, it's just... Usually at a bathhouse, it's just sort of like everyone... Yes, everyone. most people are there to, to you know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, as it were. It's but orgy-esque. It's, it's not everyone doing it at the same time. Right. That's fair. And, and you, you could just go to just a soap or something. Yeah, you could just oh, go and relax. You could totally voyeur it up. You could go to a bathhouse and just observe to your heart's content and not really participate. That part. Not that I would have done that. Anyways, moving on. Um, so continuing on this, since there was only one of us that answered, uh, only one of us gets to move to the, the answer to the next question, which is, had sex at a bathhouse after a date? Yes. It's a thing. You meet someone, you have a really good time. You're like, actually, you know, it was, it was the second time I'd ever met a man. And we met in a, in a pub. We had lunch. And then we were like, he was like, do you want to come back to the bathhouse with me? And I went, I'm 19. Sure. So we did. And it was great. And I had a good time. And I miss him dearly. I wish he, mo- he didn't move so far away. Oh, that's fair. All right, next up. Had sex in a limousine? No. I only think I've ever been in like one, maybe two limousines in my life. No. And none of them were in a situation where I could have sex. (laughs) Gary, who are you sleeping with? (laughs) No, he's just coming up with the questions. These aren't based on like real yeah, life. No, no, no. Don't be misunderstanding. Like I'm tracking my own points here and I'm not and I don't qualify for all of these. So <laughs> dang. True. I said no. Okay. okay. I didn't see. I didn't see. Twice both are wedding parties. No opportunity for sex there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the few times I've been in the few times I've been in the limo. Um they were all was- like on it was all like non-sexual kind of things. It was, it was there was a really high groomsman I would have been interested in, but poor case. I take the Not to say you wouldn't have had. The situation didn't allow for it. That part. That's not to say that I haven't met a hot limo driver or two in my life, but that's, that's not the same thing. <laughs> right. All right, next up. I'm going to say this and then I'm going to clarify because I can already see the questions coming. Had, <laughs> had sex with a stranger at their workplace. Now, it's the stranger's workplace, not oh. your workplace. So in other words, you hooked up with them at where they worked. <laughs> yes. Yes. I have kissed someone at their workplace, but I've never hooked up with them at their workplace. San Diego lifeguard on the beach in the lifeguard house. <laughs> Andrew, 
Who even are you? <laughs> I love how this game is turning into true confessions for some people. <laughs> Trying to think. Yes. I know I've done it. I just don't remember the specifics. Technically, yes. Okay. Fair. Because it, it kind of goes back to to Bath House. Oh. Okay. Room yes. service. <laughs> I'm here to change your sheet. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. All right. Next up, thought that they were going to wait until marriage, but and these are the words I put down, which is a little. I realize a little judgmental. Um, was a whore instead. <laughs> I'm going to wait till marriage. Though. No, no, oh. because I didn't do it for money. Oh, all right. We're not going to get that technical about it. The intent was that you thought you were honestly going to wait to have sex until you got married in your life, but that was not the case at all. Well, no, anyways, because I mean, I never thought I was going to get married because I did when I, I when I was younger. I didn't. It wasn't legal, so I guess it would have worked if you thought you were going to get married to a woman. Oh, I never thought that. <laughs> that's was like nope not on the cards <laughs> that wasn't in my cards <laughs> i'm going to say no okay. yeah because i don't think i ever thought i was gonna wait yep i fucking love dick no way was i waiting <laughs> no way was i waiting fuck that shit nice <laughs> I mean, I suppose in this question, it would probably be at least for because of ages. And in the fact, at least in the United States, it's only been legal for five, six years, something like that. Yeah. Um, the answer would it would be more of like significant other right. or partnered or, you know. Right. No. All right, so next up, <laughs> watched a porn and recognized a friend in the scene. Yes. 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 <laughs> Joshua? Yes. <laughs> no, I think I actually, it was more of, I actually heard they were in a scene, so I looked it up. <laughs> but it's essentially the same thing. Well, I mean, that counts. I was, I mean, I have met people who I've met, who I've seen porn about them and met them. And in fact, some of them are my neighbors. But there was this lovely video of a friend of mine having a great time with this older gentleman that I was watching. And I was sort of like, oh, this is nice. Hold on. Wait, hold on. Wait, I know that hairstyle. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I know that pubic hair. Oh, good time. Yeah. So was that a clean sweep? With the yes, I think so. I think so. I think so. Okay. Uh, next up, had sex with your ex because you knew it was going to be good. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Just I'm laughing at Drew because it sounded so reluctant. You're going longer in a relationship. I mean, you may also hate them for some cases, but that's not always the case. It's a bad part of a breakup relationship that lasted four months. It was on and off. Knowing that he'd sex with me, he'd, be good, he'd leave to go with his other boyfriend. Oh, that's cold, Andrew. Horrible. Oh. The relationship is horrible. <laughs> For me, Sex it was great. someone I dated. Or oh, someone I dated. We broke up fairly messily, like super messily, that, like to the point where he was like sending me pictures of his boyfriends, being like, "This is what I'm having now. This is what you missed." Wow. And then, and then five years later, he was like, "Hey, Lloyd, I was a fucking idiot. I don't know what I was thinking. I was, I was like, yeah, me too. 
And he invited me to his place. And we were like, should we? After all that? And we did. It was fucking great. It was just it was like, I was, sex. I was like, actually, this is, this, is, this is really good fun. I enjoyed this. Why did we not? Oh, yeah. Relationships, issues, timing. But the sex was great. And it was very adult. And we didn't think any further than that. Oh, I haven't answered yet, have I? No. Oh, yeah. He's been lost in thought for a while. What? Uh oh! Uh oh! Husband's calling him out. Oh, someone's about <laughs> to bust you. You don't even know what we're, the question. Oh God! <laughs> what was the question again? I've literally lost it. <laughs> I love it when Jim interjects. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Had sex with your ex because you knew it was going to be good. Right, Damon. Remember that one time? <laughs> yes. 1989. <laughs> tell Jim the question so he knows what it is. I'm not going to tell him the question. That's okay. <laughs> he can watch it later. <laughs> um. Mm, 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 mm. I mean, no. you have to think over have, like twenty years ago. So, yeah, I have to first think of the 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 ex. That's the big thing, and then I right. have, I well, I was about to say, David, how many exes you got? Like, I've had a few, believe it or not. I've just I've just been a very in a very long standing like, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you and Jim have been together for how many years? Of like, but you got to remember, years. like, you got to remember. I gotta go like, back twenty years plus. plus to over twenty that. years ago, you got to remember all all the exes. All the exes before Jim. Yes. Uh huh. I had a few, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> so did you. <laughs> Having a conversation over here. Um, I think right. I said no. Correct. No. All right. So uh, these next three are probably going to go uh, pretty quickly. I'll be curious to see if they end up in uh, clean sweeps. Uh, took a moment for self pleasure in the past 72 hours. Yes. Nope. Nope. Yes. I mean, if it's, if it, the defined moment. Did you did you masturbate in the past three days? <laughs> so if it took like twenty minutes versus like five minutes or something like that. No, 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 no. It's, it's, or or it doesn't matter. Long. I was trying to be eloquent, but I'll just say it. Did you eloquent. did you jack it in the past three days? <laughs> yes, this morning. <laughs> I will save it myself for you, boys. Oh, that's so sweet of you, Lloyd. And and why? Pictures for um, pictures that didn't happen, Lloyd. <laughs> anyway, so was that uh, were Joshua and Lloyd the only abstentions? You said last seventy-two hours, so yes. Yes, in three days. Yes. All right. Now we're going to move up the timetable. Forty-eight hours. Yes. 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 And before you say yes, I already marked you, Jeff. Because <laughs> I heard your earlier comment. Are you saying 24? Yes, I was about to go to 24, but I was waiting for Joshua and Lloyd on the 48 hour. Oh, no. Oh, well, no, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we didn't do 72, definitely not now. Okay. Well, I just, I thought there might have been a weird technicality. I don't know, time <laughs> travel, who knows. You might have been like, well, no, not three days ago, but two days ago, yes. All right, uh, 24 hours. No. Yes. Uh, no. I'm trying to do math. <laughs> oh my so God, Drew. One day. One day. One so, day. So from so it is 7:57 p.m. Yeah. right now. So between that and 7:58 p.m. 7:58 p.m. No, that yeah. 7:58 p.m. Yesterday. Through your central time, right? 
Huh? Are you at Central or Eastern? You're in Eastern. Okay, so since 8 o'clock last night. Do you jack off before you sleep or when you wake up? <laughs> well, why not both? There we go. So it's definitely 24 hours. No, but, but I did before that. I, I think it's 25 and a half hours. <laughs> so, <laughs> to Lloyd's point, you don't get to double up points. Like if you if it was before sleep and immediately after sleep, you don't get double points. Like it's that's just it was before sleep, but before I go to bed. So earlier than usual. <laughs> it was before right. 24 hours. Oh my gosh. Oh, so it's a no for me. Oh my gosh. I'm just so <laughs> abused on the technicality. All right. <laughs> uh coming into the the last third of these all right this one um this is very interesting it, and i don't know where my brain was with these lost a sex toy in your lifetime yes so look it's just you lost it how you lost it that's a different matter altogether you just <laughs> yeah yes yeah, I, I wasn't going to get into the specifics as, as to the how, just the fact that it happened. All right, probably another one that'll be uh, pretty straightforward. Had a sex toy used on you? Yes. Yes. Wait, Drew, why'd you look really upset by that? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't something I normally do. How's that? Ah, that's, uh, hmm, that's fair. Yes. So for me, yes. Okay. And to flip it and reverse it, uh, used a sex toy on someone else. Yes. Yes. Joshua, you're missing out. <laughs> Joshua gets an education each year when they come to this. <laughs> well, Joshua knows plenty of things. If you watch his work, he knows about it. You don't have to experience it to know it. So. That part. That's fair. That's very true. All right. Uh, and continuing a little bit on that theme, purchased sex, a sex toy or sex toys, singular or plural, for someone else? No. I mean, yeah. I live next to the sex toy shop. So if I'm just like, I'm like, yeah, you don't, you don't probably grab a cock ring. I'll show you. I'll see you in a minute. You read that one store. <laughs> that was a sale on or something. I don't know. I'm on my way over. Do you need anything like <laughs> cock ring, cock lube, ring, lube um, <laughs> vibrators, penis pumps? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna be there for a few hours. Do you do you? <laughs> Ripple clamps, <laughs> handcuffs. Man, for the ride. What was your answer, Jeff? No. No? Okay. Next up. Viewed porn before the age of 15. Yes. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna say yes. Oh my god, you're right. I mean, yes. I mean, it was it was like a Usenet use group, and it, it took forever for the image to download. But <laughs> yes, uh, true Lloyd confessions. Uh, I had an older uncle, but not that old, who got one of those dirty magazines with the ladies, the big boobies. Oh, and my brothers, Playboys and Hustlers. Yeah, like I've seen, I've I've seen porn since I was like before middle school, like. I have I have older I have brothers older. seven years old. I have older brothers that are seven years older than me. Like it. Mine is nine years older than me. So yeah. Good times. So I used to have this neighbor who had this rundown building, and we snuck into it one time, found old magazines and some old like movie film strips that they had made homemade for. Oh so wow! We could pull up strips and see slides of. Yeah, oh wow. my god, y'all should have kept yeah. that. Yeah. We had... <laughs> Probably all disintegrated. Yeah. Not that we're showing our ages or anything. <laughs> yeah, we had I remember a... back in the days when film was black and white. We had we had um a house that got um in the neighborhood where the 
don't know the circumstances, but the family left in a hurry. Um, like I don't, I don't know. It's a thing, porn but they, scandal? huh? A porn scandal? No, no, no. <laughs> I don't think it was that. But they, they, they left like very quickly, and um, they had like magazines and stuff, and someone, you know. The, the brave one went into the house and found stuff and found them and then we started looking at them i remember i remember specifically being on the porch of my dad's house like looking with with a with several boys like several you know, people just looking at the magazines and it was porn magazines straight porn magazines but it was porn magazines and then our, our the older kids in the in the neighborhood saw the younger kids and took them from us because they were too old they were too young for, or we're, they were we were not old they enough yet too young. so that part gotcha. and they were only 14. well they were old they were a little older than that i would say I'm joking yeah. anyways moving on all right next up viewed porn in the past six hours today oh no i was at work well, that doesn't really stop anything because I do have my phone. <laughs> yes. But no. It wasn't for any reason. It's just on my Twitter, you know? It's just there. It's not I'm not like I'm not like, oh yeah, I gotta get our titties out. Like, no, nah, it just it just happens to be that I'm like, great, thanks. Yes. <laughs> wow, with such reluctance. <laughs> It's a new video on Squirt. <laughs> That's fair. So, speaking of uh, the, the Wayback Machine a moment ago, remember, this is within the lifetime, recorded themselves on cam before the digital age. No. Mm. How about any type of recording, picture no. versus video? It's it would it would be too hard to to hide the VHS because <laughs> we used to have a VHS camcorder. Mm -hmm. I love playing with that thing. Right, it could be thirty five millimeter, could be VHS, could be Betamax. I mean, or... I did film myself, but not in a sexy way. Come on, Lloyd. You remember those Polaroids? <laughs> uh, I I couldn't. I wasn't allowed to take any with me to the what's called to the World War Two fight on Berlin, so I had to sleep behind. Sorry, just, life is so hard down in the corn dogs. <laughs> thinking, 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 thinking. I mean, you did say recorded yourself on Kate can before the digital age yeah it makes me think that had to be some sort of motion picture so if you're thinking motion picture no no okay. but if it's did you take a dick pic before <laughs> the digital age no no I, I will say this i i used to say some of my former jobs were at uh photo mats, so I knew that it would be extremely difficult to get those developed. Right. Not impossible. Right. As All I right. Said, extremely difficult. I would have to do it myself and make sure nobody saw. So staying in that kind of realm, thinking to the future, would you be in an adult film in the time to come? No. Sure. I mean, I've already done it before. You go, girl. <laughs> Depends on the salary. Oh, there goes Josh. She went home. 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 Yes, I, I mean, I've already, I'm technically already probably going to be doing one literally in a few months. So, but not, I, I, I do, I've done Wolfbound, like I've done Wolfbound and I, mm -hmm. he, he's always about having models. So. 
So, Joshua, does that count as a yes? We'll go with a yes, yes. I was like, I think I think that counts, although you went all Beyonce on us. It was like, are we talking <laughs> Oprah money? Like, I mean, like, <laughs> I mean, if we're talking Oprah money, I'm down. Are you kidding? I don't give a fuck about my loyalties, y'all. That's a mill I'm in. I mean, whatever's going to get people to watch my other movies, if that's what it does. Wow. I see the following count that all the people who have OFs do on, on Twitter. I'm like, how do I get that? Oh, oh that's what you have to do. Okay. Ugh. I don't Let's know. See. I'll have to see what the, the money is. So. I was just gonna say, I'm not easy, but it can be bought. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That, that right yeah. there. Also that. that that's 100, yeah. Tell about the Benjamins, baby. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So speaking of like kind of um, film, paid someone else for getting off on cam. So it doesn't have to be a live stream. In our current age, it could be uh, tokens on Chatterbait or those type of programs, only fans, just for fans, uh, any of those platforms. Because in theory, that's what you're paying for. In that case, I'll say yes. Yeah, a friend of mine got into the adult industry. And was like, I'm trying to get to OnlyFans. I was like, I'll oh, I'll buy a month. I'll make you feel better. Here you go. Um, well, I spend a few tokens here or there. Ooh. Out of appreciation, I have a couple of of OnlyFans subscriptions. No. 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 Really. I have. I'm thinking. Uh, yes, I have. You have to go through your entire life. Yes, I technically have. Yes. I was like, David, you were like to me an, an automatic yes, and you, the fact that you had to think so long, I was like, Shut. well, I have to. I had to think about it because it's. I was. I mean, getting, does, I was it, getting... does it? Uh, the, since he has that big bear films collection, does that count? No, 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 no. Because no. <laughs> that's that's produced media. Like this is this the concept behind this was that you're paying intentionally for the fact that you got to watch them. Yeah, I had to. I have to. It was that part that was tricking me up, and I was like, no. But then I was like, well, there's the there's that, and then I was like, okay, yes, that makes sense. Right. All right. Shipped an item of your clothing that was worn during sex to someone else. No. 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 Gary, what's your answer to this question? Mine's Thank a no. You. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just Lloyd wondering if he would like to make that a yes. <laughs> 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 Give me that Santa hat. <laughs> David, what was your answer on that one? Um, no. Okay. So none of us. All right. Yeah. Next up. This is these are the last two. And if you remember the last two questions last year, you're not going to be surprised by these. Oh Add sex while dressed as one of Santa's elves. No. No. Anybody got time for that? <laughs> no. Did I say yes last year? If I said yes last year, I'm a little, I'm like. Uh, it's not the same exact question. Technically, so this year is that you had sex dressed as one of Santa's elves. Last year, the question was had sex with one of Santa's elves. Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> You've never, right. Have you ever been dressed as a Santa? <laughs> I'm, that's that's kind of where I'm going at with it. I'm like, have I? And then I had to think for it. And then I had to go, yeah, no. Yes, I have, but no. Yes, I've dressed as Santa's elf, but no, I've not had sex while dressed oh, as Santa's elf. Right. Right, 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 right. Have to get down to details. You got to break it down. All right. Here's the last one, and it's a doozy. It's worth quite a few points. Uh oh. Had sex with Santa's helper 
I'm using air quotes for a reason, <laughs> while they were in costume. No. No. Sadly. <laughs> Game. Jim just off camera there. <laughs> Jim's like, um, actually. Well, <laughs> so no. You have to, the caveat is in costume. Right, right, right. That, that's the big, that's the big, big caveat there. Right. Okay. You cut that sentence a little shorter, and the answer is probably yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that's why it got real specific, because um, last year uh, it was had sex with Santa and you still didn't get the present you wanted. <laughs> <laughs> there was a couple of yeses to that last year. So this year it's had sex with Santa's helper while they were in their costume. Mm -mm -mm. All right. So that would be our 31 activities for this year's version. Total possible presents you could have lost. 69. Aha. Nice. Or you could have received 34 and a half lumps of coal or received 23 wax on your rumpus from Krampus because you were just so naughty. You always want to say that's Krampus. It's rumpus and Krampus. With the rump. I know. It's Krampus. Krampus. It's Krampus on the rumpus. <laughs> so that being said, uh, we're going to start with this, and I don't think there's going to be any surprise. Who do we think amongst the group of us is the most pure? Joshua. 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 <laughs> so angelic. Every year. Considering so the content he puts on, on, it's kind of weird, but... <laughs> it's art. It's not real life. There They're not real math. That part right there. That's fair. Nice. So that being said, we are correct. Joshua, uh, I believe, yet again, two years in a row, it's the purest of the bunch. Uh, Put a hammer the, over his head. The next four are separated by three points. Wow. Oh. Damn, boys, we did well this year. There's four of us that are pretty close to each other in point total. However, there is one person who jumped ahead in the lead uh, by at least eight points compared to the others. Any guesses on who the naughtiest of all is this year? Oh, God. <laughs> you said me? It's always Dave. <laughs> no, I know Drew came. Drew came swinging this year, though. There were there were a Drew lot came of swinging. I think I think it's. I, I feel like it's between Drew and I. I will. I, I mean, will it's always between that. the two of you. I mean, fair. <laughs> I, I mean, fair. We've lived lives, Drew. We've lived lives. Three, can we at least three, count the last the <laughs> next people, so we know the last two, so we can confirm. I've seen some things. <laughs> I've, I've seen some things and done some stuff. I, I was just going to say, for clarification, this isn't about what you saw. This is about what you did. <laughs> there was only one of them that you might do in the future. So <laughs> last year, Drew, you are, you guys are correct, came in second. And Damon was the naughtiest of all. This year, in second place... Is me. Wow. <laughs> Yo, you can be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, naughty, naughty. It, well, we got to know where your points came from right now. <laughs> yeah, he needs to be more vocal about his answers. <laughs> hey, maybe this is a Patreon post where, 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 <laughs> where we post this. Put some spreadsheets that patrons could look at. All right. Naughty, naughty. Because you yeah. asked, uh, category one, mm -hmm. held a stranger's genitalia, mm -hmm. had sex in nature, had sex in an outdoor shower, had sex in a creepy, possibly unsafe location. Go back to our episode where David and I talked about the bathhouse that I thought was going to fall down around me. Yes. <laughs> it's burned. 
um, had sex with someone else to make up for the bad sex earlier that day. Had sex in a bathhouse. Um, thought they were going to wait until marriage, but was a whore instead. Um, watched but porn and recognized a friend. Uh, uh, masturbated the past 72 hours, 48 hours, 24 hours. <laughs> um, had a toy used, used a toy, purchased a toy. Uh -huh. view, viewed porn before 15. Uh, viewed porn in the past six hours. It's only fair because we were playing the game. I am the only one that recorded themselves on cam before the digital age. Ah. <laughs> Thank Dance God my mother is not alive. <laughs> a thing. We had a VHS uh, camcorder. Oh. Yeah. Uh, what else is there? Oh, uh, paid someone else. Mm. <laughs> So uh, I had 36 points. Wow. In third place was Drew. Which means once again, the number one spot for <laughs> yet again for <laughs> goes to Dave right. with 44 points. Or 44 presents lost, I should say, probably. So what were my points? Uh, Drew was 34. I was 36. Jeff and Lloyd were tied at 33. I'm going to try harder next year. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a year to work on it. 30 minutes before the show. Just <laughs> I'm going to look at porn. I'm going to put Drew in the show. I'm porn right now. <laughs> but the thing is... Like, the thing is, is like the activities have different <laughs> rankings. So like the very last one had sex with Santa's helper in their costume was n worth nine. Oh, wow. But I said well, no to that. The thing one. is, this I know. Year, next year we should tag people in costumes. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, oh, we know what's up. Yo, Drew, I got no costume. I'm going to have a fantasy come true. <laughs> I'm gonna have a threesome with Santa and an elf next year. There you go. <laughs> in their house, in a dangerous spot. There you go. There's an OnlyFans for that, surely. And he's gonna do it in the afternoon before Jingle Mingle Four, <laughs> <laughs> on a uh, camcorder, outside, having a buffet, on a VHS camcorder, in an outdoor go. shower. There you go. <laughs> That's for afterwards when we're done. There you go. <sighs> That's round two. There's going to be a bunch of sex toys that they purchased. <laughs> They're going to have use each other. in the morning and better sex in the evening. They're going to pay one of them as an actor for participating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just paying one of them to hold the camera. Ow. <laughs> I, I'm literally giving you this. You Put this fucking costume on. I'm paying you $20. Just do it. <laughs> I'm a contest Why? to win, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> jingle, jingle. To be, fair. <laughs> to be uh, fair, Drew, we were only three points behind you this year, which was way better than last year. No, we you guys were behind by one. One? Oh, man, I was so off. Lloyd Just and Jeff were 33. Out. Jeff was 34. Or Drew was 34. Jeff and Lloyd were 33. Drew was, was 34. 44. Hey, Lloyd. You were yeah. 44, Damon, yes. Two hours before the show next year. We'll gain some points. I'm with you. I'm going to come down to Michigan where the fuck you live. We're going to sort that out. <laughs> the question says, had sex with one of the hosts of Tibbs Out Loud. Did I do that one last year? I think you did last year. Hang on. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, I didn't. I just... Oh. I still have the spreadsheet from last year. I just added a new tab and like worked off of it. I was like, wait, let me go back and look. Mm-mm-mm. Yo, Drew, if, if we just rope Jeff in, we're sorry. <laughs> we gotta catch up. We gotta catch up. <laughs> Lord, we'll be we'll in Jeff's place next year. Get that I mean, to be point. fair, think of the blowjobs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh. Now, yeah. You mean we were gummy bear. I can't. 
Gary can't. Like, oh, I just can't. Should we end the show? Last year's point spread <laughs> was a lot further apart, just for the record. Um, it wasn't it wasn't as uh, tight or as close as this year. So I'm going on a campaign. Man, we were so tight this year. That's what he said. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes, I think we should we should we should end oh. the show. <laughs> well, I do very much appreciate uh everyone for coming and and uh hanging out and having fun and i hope that our viewers and uh listeners have enjoyed the um the fun as well for this evening it's uh you know it's one of those things when it's the end of the year and we're trying to look back and reflect on things and uh you know make the best of of the times that we have so i appreciate all of you coming around for our three little silly games this year um, in that case, uh, Jeff, if you want to run through the the closing, uh, don't forget our website comes out live .com. Uh, You can choose an email it comes out live at gmail dot com. Leave us a voicemail at three six one C L talk. That's three six one two six five eight two five five. Follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at comes out live in the appropriate places. The URL. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can join our on chat at tiny url.com slash telegram dash tll uh, subscribe to your google calendar at tinyurl.com slash calendar dash tll get some merch such as a you know, proud out loud shirt a handy towel various other recruits among that comes at <laughs> zazzle.com slash comes out loud some of those designs were designed by smashy you can find more of his work at tpublic.com slash user slash smashy there you can also become a Patreon, patreon.com slash comes out loud, such as a couple of these guys are. Um, please subscribe to us, uh, rate us and review us on Apple Podcasts, Google Play, Spotify, whatever your podcast platform of choice is. Find me anywhere on the internet as BoxNet, Box, Net, Box, 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 something. If you wish to get in touch with me, you can find me as Theater Cub 79 on most bear related sites or on Facebook, or you can find me as Pup underscore Umbra on Twitter. Or you can find me as Pup Umbra 79 on Blue Sky. Those are not safe for work. Good deal. If you would like to get in touch with me, you can pretty much find me anywhere online as Gabber73. And for our guests that are here, uh, if anyone wants to shout anything out, feel free for the, the free rep uh, where folks can find you or your uh, things that you put out into the world. If you want to find me, Drew, you can find me on most of the gay platforms as OHMI Bear, Ohio Michigan Bear. For my regular exploits on food, drink, travel, and outdoor activities and fun, I am Drew the Wandering Bear, Facebook and Instagram. If you want to watch any of the work that we put out at Sidekick Productions and see any queer, that positive, uh, mostly horror based stuff. Uh, you can follow us at youtube.com slash Sidekick Productions uh, or on Instagram at Sidekick Productions or on Twitter at Sidekick Fraud or on TikTok at Sidekick Productions. Uh, we're currently releasing season two of Demon Doctor. Uh, more episodes will be coming uh, next year. And we also have uh, the world's first queer fat positive horror feature film coming out next year, A Taste of Youth. And uh, another feature film coming out next year and uh two other series coming out next year so um some exciting stuff for you all to see at psychic productions and if you forget any of that but know how to get to our youtube channel you can actually just scroll down to the bottom of the youtube channel and look at our, our friends list and one of those psychic productions so you can click right there pop right on over and don't forget to subscribe <laughs> Um, I, I don't actually have anything. Uh, I love you all. Have a great day. <laughs> <laughs> With that, say good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. Thanks for participating. <laughs> <laughs>